and welcome back to redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. I'm your host Mikey and in today's tutorial we are going to explore some stitch work and this is part of the Stitchcation series. This is the front post double crochet around the single crochet square. Say that ten times fast, <laughs> let alone three times fast. This reminds me of totally of an escalator step of conveyor belt, something you'd see walking along in the airport. Just I love 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 the stitching on this. So today we're going to explore this. You'll notice in the pattern that it calls for 3.75 millimeter or size F. Uh, the stitchcation I used a size of 5 millimeter size I and then for today's purposes I'm using 6 or a size J. You just have to match the yarn to the hook and this is good to go. So let's uh, begin and start this right now. So let's begin by creating a slip knot and we're going to start off. You insert your hook and remember that the slip knot never counts as one. So let's uh, begin. We need to chain 36. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Please go all the way to 36 and I'll see you in just a moment. So we're going to begin with the chain work here and I have my 36 on and it says to single crochet second chain from the hook but we have to turn it over to the back loop. So here is your first stitch, here is your second. Just turn it over and get to the loop that looks like it's a hump in the back and you want to single crochet in that stitch. Once you do the first one the rest of the um, the back loops will naturally stick up because it's going to naturally turn over that chain. So continue to single crochet in the back loop making sure that it turns over that beginning chain. And the reason why they're asking you to do this if you're not familiar is that you end up with the perfect um, stitch work edge by doing it in this fashion. So just do that. I'll see you at the end of the line where we'll continue along with this project. We're now at the end and now we just need to turn. So this is how simple this one is. So we have uh, what we call um, a front post a double crochet. I'll show you that in just a moment. But to begin to this line we have to chain one. And then we single crochet into the first stitch. And now we're ready with the repeat pattern. So every other uh, every other um, uh, stitch is the same thing. So we just have to keep going every other one. So to do a front post double crochet we're going to wrap the yarn and we come in between the, the posts in the single crochet from the line below. Okay. And so you just go in one side, pop it out the other and we just continue to double crochet as normal but this is um, a front post double crochet. Well that wasn't really smooth was it? <laughs> so the next one we're going to single crochet. Just like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just continue to repeat it again. So what we have to be pay paying attention to is that we have to make sure that we're going every other one on the front post in the row below. So what we have to do is that we know this one here has not got a front post so we have to go to the next one. And we just need to really pay attention to where our stitches are in this one. It's very easy to get off track this. Okay, so we're just making sure and so it's single crochet and then front post double crochet and single and single. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, so you're doing this and you're thinking, well how are is the row going to stay the same height? Well because you're going down to the row below with the double crochet and you're single crocheting normally onto the same one, the height is actually identical because you're actually sinking down when you go to do the double crochet. So do a front post double crochet all along uh, followed by a single crochet and vice versa and when we come back we'll be at the end of the line and I'll show you what to do next. When you get to the end of the line make sure that you don't forget that you do have that final chain that you started off with and you got to single crochet that into place. Okay, so now it's in balance and it doesn't look that fabulous right at the moment but that's because you haven't done enough of it in order for it to take its shape. So let's uh, turn our work and move ourselves up the next level. This one is very easy. We're just going to chain one and single crochet all the way across. How hard is that? So the work to achieve what we want to achieve is only done in the one um, direction and then the other direction is just a straight uh, single crochet all the way across. So continue that. I'll see you at the end of the line. We'll review doing this other stuff next. So I've now come all the way to the other side. I've single crocheted. So you can see that there's a bit of contour in the front 
but it's not a lot of it, right? So what we're going to do now is that we're going to move up and do this next round. So we're going to chain one first and single crochet into the first. Now we're just going to follow exactly what we've done in the row below is that we're going to front post double crochet into the next and then single crochet into the next and continue to do that every other one so that we can continue to have the same contours going all the way. And you're going to start seeing that the line that uh, you have is going to start going in the vertical direction so that you have what you saw in the very beginning of this tutorial. And it makes it really quite easy to follow when you can follow it in such a manner. So we now come to the end of the row. We're just going to turn our work and this is where it becomes fun. This is where it all comes down to. So what we want to do is that we want to start off and we want to chain one and then we want a single crochet. So we need to maintain the the front posts like we have already in the row below. But it's not just the row below, it's the one below that. So we have to come down and sink below. So what we're going to do is we're wrapping and we're going to go into the front post double crochet itself and then just finish it off as normal. Okay? So in the last round what we did is that we went right into the next single crochet and that's what we did. Now we're actually skipping a row and going down to the second. And then we're going to single crochet into the next and then we're again, it's going to sink down, get that front post double crochet from the before and make another one. And you end up with these gorgeous ridge ridges. I think they're really amazing. So just every other one is no, it's a no brainer. Actually I just grabbed it wrong. You have to make sure you have to grab it by that post. And that's a good lesson right there to keep that into this video. Could be an outtake. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure you just keep having these posts and what's going to happen is that you're going to have these beautiful lines within your work. So continue this all the way across. Just uh, every other one is a front post double crochet and the next one is just single as normal. And when we come back I'll just show you two more rows just so that you're clear and then I'll let you do the rest of the square on your own. So we're coming all the way back to the end of the row and again we're just maintaining exactly what we have. Make sure that last one is your front post double crochet and then you just single crochet into the final stitch. So let's turn our work. We're just going to quickly do it. See you don't even see the, the, the ridges on the back end. This is a front uh, side only. And so then this one here we just chain one and single crochet again all the way across. So we're only doing that front post double crochet on one, on one row and it's always in the same direction therefore it will always appear on the front side of your panel. So let's uh, get you to do that. I'll meet you back at the end of the line. We'll turn again and just review one last time. So I've come all the way to the other side and now it's time to turn our work and again do exactly what we already know. So we chain one, single crochet in the first and then front post double crochet into the other front post double crochet from uh, two rows below. And, can and then single crochet and then front post double crochet. And it's just really a nice beautiful stitch. So on behalf of redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, just uh, this is a great idea and uh, we're here to inspire and share new ideas with you all the time. Until then we'll see you.